I still don't understand why ignorance is being pummeled in the face by that gnarly little angel. You think ignorance is good? I think it's a fact. I think everyone's ignorant. This painting is about triumphing over ignorance. It's about being better than that. The angel's just trying to wake her up. It's a wake-up call. Unfortunately, it's probably gonna take like a million fucking years, but you know, some people need that. I disagree with you. I'm gonna stop shitting on our childhood memory because I don't No, what do you this think she should do? I, I don't I think this know. is productive. I don't wanna talk about it What do you think ignorance anymore. should do? You think she should stay crying and miserable? Ignorance should just get out of this painting, I guess, cause- Get out of this painting, yeah, that's helpful. If she had a fucking trumpet and grew some wings, she could fucking go up there. I'm gonna go look over at the abstract art because we never visit that side of the museum. I'll meet you in 10, okay? You won't feel anything. I just need a change. Makeover is a good place to start. Have you thought about blonde? Blonde? Virgin? Uh, my hair? Yeah, my hair's virgin. Arr, okay, I can see it now. Today, you and I are going all the way. It's gonna be very exciting. Platinum. Excuse me, miss. I, um, are you a model? Uh, well, you should be, because you have a great look. <laughs> scouted? Yeah, I was scouted. By a modeling agent. For what? Modeling. So ridiculous. I hope you know what you're doing. I just don't want you to get exploited. Especially if you don't look that great. <laughs> well, you look like someone who could be exploited. Just keeping it real. Why? What? 
Why do I look like someone who could get exploited? Because you went out and got yourself a silly haircut. So you're and you think that just because someone gives you their business card, you know, you're the next Tyra Banks or something. Please still make more money. Hi there. Hi. Hi. I'm Jared. Hey, I'm Irene. Mm. You caught me right in the middle of lunch. Mid Danish here. Yeah. So officially, I'm not even here right now. Okay. But you're here, so, oh. so we can do this. Um, yeah. How tall are you? I'm uh, five eleven. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm, what are your measurements? Uh, thirty four, twenty four, thirty four. Mm. Eyeballing you, I'd probably add a few numbers to every number you just said to me. That's okay. Um, how old are you? I'm 23. I, I just turned 23. Mm. Honey, you know, uh, if we're gonna work together, uh, we, we're gonna need to start from a foundation of honesty, having a hard time believing you're 23 years old. I'm really 23 years old. All right, I'm gonna choose to believe you. Um, well, may I? The hair. Oh. oh, oh, so coarse. It's like horse hair. You're like a little little pony, little filly. Oh, that, that's a joke. You can laugh. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Well, why don't you grab your stuff, come back to my office. We'll we'll talk this over. Okay. The New Faces Division is where we prepare all our girls to become successful models. Now we take twenty percent for all print and runway work. A girl can't test enough. So I'm gonna expect you to test regularly, and you'll be responsible for uh, covering that. Runs 350 to 550 per test. And when I actually get paid, how does that work? You'll be paid within 90 days of working. Per, per job? Hey, look, the first year is all about just building a strong portfolio. If you make money, fantastic, but don't expect it. Oh, by the way, do you want to work for us? <laughs> that was a joke as well. It's important to look your age. All this heavy makeup. Oh, makes you look so old. We're going to need to monitor what goes into your body, all right? That means lots of water, 
seven to eight hours of sleep every night, limit your sugar and salt intake, exercise. I will take care of all of that. Good. Are you excited? You look scared. I am excited. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing we signed you in, we did. Another year we couldn't have. I mean, you would have aged out. It's the same color as mine, almost. <laughs> Makes you look kind of wise. Yeah. What the hell are you celebrating? I signed with a modeling agency today. Really? Yeah. That's exciting. So you're not at the shop? No, I'm not working at the but shop. Well, I'm, I'm working part time. I, I can only work on weekends now, but I called Rachel and she's fine with it. That's so. not good, though. That's freelance. You're not going to make enough money to pay your college loans, to pay your rent. Um, well, I have savings, Dad. I mean, modeling is an investment, and it's like opening your own business. Don't get down on us, Stephen. I mean, it's risky, for sure, but I think it's a good idea you try something new. Anyway, she's old enough to make her own decisions. It's her life. But it's our champagne. And I think she shouldn't open the bottle until we have something really to celebrate. Oh, that's true, and we do. It's our exactly. anniversary champagne, so put it back. Sorry. Are you going to stay for lunch? Um, no, I don't think so. I just oh. popped in to tell you the good news. That was your news? That was my news, yeah. Oh. Are you available tomorrow for a last minute catalog shoot downtown? OK, good, it'll be a free test. Call time's gonna be 8.30 a.m. and Angela's gonna want easy casual poses. Think Bloomingdale's meets Shop Bob. Catalogish, but not too generic. Keep it still, you know, fresh and flirty. Bring a nude bra with straps, a strapless nude bra, nude underwear, basically everything nude. Ripped denim shorts, white shorts, any other color shorts. Uh, and white skinny jeans and a denim skirt. Something fresh, light, easy, fun. You wanna look sexy, but you don't wanna look like a whore. You know, just look through your stuff, see what you got, okay? Just make sure it's laundered please, because with some of these girls, I get horror stories that come back from the client. We don't want that. Hey, your boyfriend's juicing, right? Yeah, he is, but he's doing solids, too. What kind of juicer is he using? It's something like the Omega Blaster 3000 Vertical. Oh, ah, yeah. Yeah, it's got this, like, huge auger thing, and I'm just using it to make cashew milk. Okay. Yeah, the Omega is amazing, but I feel so guilty throwing away all that pulp, you know? Listen, I'll tell you a secret. You can get a dehydrator, and you can compact all that pulp and make them into lovely, crispy, yummy crackers. Oh my gosh. I'm ready to work. You ready? Yeah, I'm not leaving till we get a great shot. Wonderful. Well, we are not reinventing the wheel here, so hopefully we're all done by three, okay? Sounds all right, good. let's get started. Don't move too much. Let me give you the direction. Okay, a little bit to your left. Your other left, the other left. Okay, great, up too much, not that much profile, okay? Chin down, in a little bit, give me your eyes. Very good, there, now we're talking, okay. Great, moving on. All right, let's go with, we're gonna change up the jacket yeah. and we're gonna put this shirt on. Just watch your eyes. Nice, okay. Do the profiles. Turn your head a little bit towards me when you do that. There you go. Nice three quarter shot. Okay, turn. Susan, how are you? I'm good, I'm doing well. I'm really busy, but you know, that's great. <laughs> so yeah, how about you? You know, it's really crazy. I just moved back from Arizona and I had no idea how it looks like New York and LA have sucked up all the creative people out of the entire country. Uh, it's like all the creatives, all the artists, all the pretty people, mm -hmm. they've all moved from other parts of the country to LA and New York, and nobody else exists. That's <laughs> true, totally. <laughs> yeah, like my family's back in the Midwest, and they just think I'm crazy being out in LA doing makeup. <laughs> but I mean, they're all in the medical industry, mm. doctors, scientists. So, yeah, it's a whole other world out here. Do you do a lot of beauty? I really want to do a beauty shoot for my portfolio. Uh, I could be down with that. Okay, amazing. Yeah, I just, you really need a model with a good, strong face. You know? It helps. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I had my first shoot yesterday.
Instagram. Really? How about though? They didn't really care about the picture. They talked about themselves. That's it. Yeah, big fucking surprise. They don't care about being creative. So I don't get why you're getting involved with it. I have reasons. Like what? You're not getting paid. You're not going to get any respect ever. And you'll never be young enough. So you... You're bored. No, I like image making. You didn't get great images. You look like shit. Why are you modeling, really? It's complicated. Sure it is, yeah. Oh, Arthur, I've been an ugly duckling my whole life. Just let me be a swan this one time, please. Please. <laughs> my next job will be better. In a year, I'll be unsignable, so I'll just do this now. Why are you running away? <laughs> Yeah, drown for all I care. God, you're so annoying. Oh my God. I get it. I get it. You can come out now. Doors are closing. I said, fuck you, when you got nothing left. Nobody wants to fuck me now. I'm a Vietnam vet. Probably did more at 5 a.m. than the rest of you motherfuckers all day long. Nobody wants to fuck you when you got nothing left. Why can't people come together? Get rid of the corrupt ones. Get rid of them. Now, I, I don't want to tell you how to live your life. I don't want to tell anybody how to live their life. I just want to tell, tell what I know. My son said he'd been with a boy. When I asked him, why'd you go with him? He said, I just wanted to see what it was like with a boy. When my wife and I were together, hey, we made babies all day long. And the judge said, it costs less to keep her. It costs less to keep her. Next stop is South Pasadena's Street. My stop. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. Is something wrong? Nothing is wrong, Irene. What I need you to do, okay, is open your email, and I, there's a Word doc in there, right? So open the Word doc, okay, you know how to do that, right? Read what I sent you, and just, there might be one or two typos. Okay, that's all I'm, you know, you know, like, the devil's in the details, please. Save me the grunt work, and send it back to me, it'll be perfect. Can you, can you give me a day or two? No, open your eyes, open your email. Okay, I'll do it right now. Come on, yes, come on, please. He is steadfast, resolute, and utterly silent. He fills the canyon steadfastly, resolutely, silently. As water, he is accustomed to pounding against oceanside cliffs, making them crumble to the ground. All the while, he is indifferent.
left you for a free test today at 10 a.m. Foundation applied, mascara, eyelashes if you have them, nude manicure, buff pedicure, bikini ready, nude strapless bra, nude regular bra, and simple black pumps. All right. Uh, why don't you just start by, by bending over? Yeah. Yeah, turn around and, and bend over. It's not as much there as I thought. Turn back around. Okay. 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 Do something different. Something different. That's better. That's better. That's creative. Very nice, very creative, good. But okay, I'll just shoot this just for fun. Open your mouth. Really wide. Let it hang open. Now shut your eyes. Shut your fucking eyes! And now hang your head. Perfect. You know what I mean? Modeling, it's... It's about taking something at you in your life, something from your life. You understand what I'm saying when I say life? Yeah, you understand. And then you bring it into your work. Do you know what I mean when I say work? Yes, okay, so be in your life. Right now you're just, me and you, we're in our lives. Make me wanna fuck you. Right now. Like we're gonna fuck right here, right now. Like you're gonna fuck me right there. Make me wanna do it. Right now. This is not a game, okay? If you do it, I'm gonna fuck you. Do you understand? That's how real I want it to be. Okay. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing? All right, let's just have a little chat, okay? Just you and me, all right? Because we're not... No more photographer model, okay? Just, just, just person to person, all right? You fucked before, right? Right? So you know what, you know how to do that. I know you do. I see it in your eyes. I know you made a man want to do that. All right, okay, that's, yes. Now, 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 now bring that into work. Yeah, and I'm gonna take a picture of it if you can manifest it. I'm gonna record it on the photo sensor. Bring it in. Bring it into work, now. Bring it into work zone. Work, work, work. <laughs> Work, come on, let's manifest it. Ah, you almost had it, I almost took a picture. All right, I didn't want to do this, but just, all right, let's just try something a little more conventional. Just, just be an innocent but dirty little girl. Innocent but dirty. Yeah, they're not using those, they're too artsy. But it was a nine hour shoot, three hour round trip, free work, no food. You can quit. I'm not gonna quit. I just started. I don't know, honey. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what they're looking for. But if you're getting stressed out, I think you should exercise more. Maybe try yoga. That'd be really good for you. someone other than yourself. Do you have love? Love is the most important thing! <sighs> Irene, you know this is my fucking novel, right? Yeah, so I didn't ask you to rewrite the whole fucking thing, okay? You cut out everything that makes it wonderful. The sensuality, the light, the atmosphere, they're just fucking gone. So please don't give me that kind of revision again, all right? I know you want good things to happen for me. So just don't be retarded. Thank you. Did I ever have
having a trunk show. It's for the house of Damiana. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm supposed to be here to model the handbags. Do you have any idea what kind of girl they like? Um, pretty. I have this piece as well, and I think it's gonna look great together. Okay, why not? Yeah. Let's try yeah, this yeah, one let's too. Try this one. on your shoulder? How many hours did you work? Three. Did she ask you to stay longer? No. Did she ask you to come again next week? She did not. Were you even friendly and personable? Did you ask for information on the merchandise? No, of course you didn't. Do you need to be spoon-fed? Does baby need her baba? I'm paid to follow directions. Well, that was the problem. They wouldn't give me any, and I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Um, I get paid within 90 days. Yeah, I'm budgeting. Dad, I don't have a car, I don't have insurance, I don't spend any money. I can't, Dad? Hello, Dad? So, your boyfriend, was an actual pimp. I told you that. This one night that I know of. Is it like the know. rap songs say, or is it prettier? Uh, it doesn't no, sound that bad. It's like suburban. It's actually like more normal than you think. I would think. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you have any clothes here that are a size zero? Are you even listening to me? 14 or 15. Oh, she's a prostitute. Alice Iron. Never coming back. She was in Hollywood. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, they gotta no. Be think they're close. Her dog peed. What's so fucking funny? You're gonna clean it. How's it going over there, Irene? Just fine. It smells bad. Katie still smells the piss. So 
this is gonna get really, really hot. We're right? hot dripping wax, it'll, it'll, okay. but she'll be fine. Omar, can you ask the model if she's ever been burned before? No, I think Irene's fine with burns. You think she'll she's fine? fine. With, be yeah. You think she's fine? Mm -hmm. So we have, you know, we have no liability. No. We have about 40 minutes left to do no, this. Irene knew what she was getting into. When the wax starts melting, I don't want her to move at all. Not a muscle, okay? Will you tell the model that? Yeah. And tell Rio that? Or the girl, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Irene, um, so you're not going to move once the wax starts melting, okay? So just, you know, it's going to burn. Just don't move. Are we ready, Trevor? Uh, yeah. Tick-tock. Omar, off the set, please. Oh. Melt, please. Omar, Omar, will you tell, will you tell her to bring that thing in closer? Bring that thing in closer that's going to melt it. Bring the gun right up to her skin. I need to see it melt, Omar. I need to see it melt. Come on. Melt. 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 Don't you want them? I got them for you. Here. Do you like the flowers? Put them in the vase. They smell really good. Do you want to smell them? No. It's a really big vase. So I thought we could um, go to the Arrow tonight and catch that short film festival. What do you think? Oh, the one that I'm dying to go to? Yeah, let's do that. I'll pay for everything, OK? I just want to make up. I hate it when we don't talk. Get the bird out of her! Go! Do it now! Stop waiting! Go! Do it now! Oh, my god! It's off. OK. I'm not driving though. Oh. I'm not taking the bus, I'm not taking the metro. So I'll just figure it out, I guess. Figure it out. Oh my god, Irene. I love it when you pay for shit. I fucking love it.
Lord, you are out of control. You're a fucking maniac. <laughs> you're get, the one who's get out of control. Get your shit together, You're a fucking bitch. maniac. I'm not fuck a bitch. You. Fuck you. Fuck you and your stupid retarded movie. Ew, you were such a cunt. That performer in there? Do you remember that performer in there? Do I remember Do the one we just watched? Oh my god. You're so unruly. Stop it. Stop. Just get control of yourself, bitch. Get it together. Fuck you. I don't fuck get you. The... Oh my god. <sighs> What's the matter with you? Can't... That performer in there is it, okay? She's. She, she, she's real. She's more real on that screen than, than in life. You know, you've been hounding me about why I want to model. Well, that's it, okay? I just want a picture like that that just defines me and tells me who I am. I can you're tell you who you are. Laugh. You're I can... fucking stupid. I, can... I know you. Stop it. Stop. Just get control of yourself, okay? You want to know who you are? You're the one who has no control, you fucking toddler. What are you, five? You wanna know who you are? You're a fucking I'm nobody. Fucking sick. No, stop. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Just shut and the fuck up. You always will be. Just, just shut and it's up. Time just you be dealt quiet! With that. It's time you dealt with that, okay? <sighs> you're not gonna be anybody. You're not gonna be anybody, okay? That's why you keep fucking talking about your novel. All you do is talk. You're all talk. You're all talk. And when you see something real. You're jealous of you some just... tranny in a movie? Yeah! Fuck you! You just. Get your fucking hands on me! Nobody, you you're the fucking nobody. loser. You're the fucking you nobody. Fucking you know. Get out of my space, bitch. You don't deserve me. Get the fuck oh, over fuck. yourself. Imagine you're wearing a pair of shoes. Kick them off, and we're gonna put on a brand new pair of shoes. They're heavy. They're dirty. They're dark. These shoes are called pain. Lace them up. Every horrible thing that you've been through. Heartbreak, deceit, cheating, lies, people that call themselves your friends. We all have this. We all have BS. Honor it. Sink into it. Without that pain, you're nothing. Oh my God. Killer workout, huh? Yeah. God, Keith always kicks my ass. Yeah, it's my first time here, but... Yeah, don't you just love his philosophy about pain? Yeah. It just, like, makes me want to, like, cut myself, you know? Just like the old days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. God, are you a model? Yeah. Yeah? I just got signed. I knew I was going to meet another model today. You did? Yeah, I had a dream about it. Is that crazy? What's your name? Irene. Hi, I'm Spring. Nice to it's meet you. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, Oops. <laughs> Guess she ran his way. Hey, Sorry. Uh, really good job posted. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. Oops, you dropped your shoes. Those are duck shoes. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Throw him some bread. <laughs> Kidding. God, I would love some bread right now. Hmm. What's your number? We should hang out. H Hello? Hey, you, you, hey. Hi. Um, hi, do you have these in an extra small? Because this small is like running way too big. Okay, I I'd suggest actually sticking with that size. It's gonna shrink up in the wash. What did you just say to me? It's gonna run Did you just call me fat? Can I see a manager, please? Can I see a real person? I'm a real person. I'm not talking hi. to you, bitch. Hi. Hi, I need an, an extra ex small. Oh, thank God. Give me these. Thank God. Jesus, you should really watch who you have working I know. here. So cute. By I know, the way. right? Yes. I love absolutely. them. Absolutely, you're gonna love them. Fix your head, bitch. Come with me. You've been here seven years, right? Yeah. You're never fed up? No. I'm pretty easygoing. I was out jogging the other day, mm -hmm. and I turned the corner, and there was this guy on a lazy chair eating cat food out of a bowl. It's fucked up, but I felt like Buddha in the city seeing reality. Mm -hmm. And I just promised myself that I'd appreciate what I have. Cool.
Yeah, you should try that. You're not the type to be angry. No, I'm not the angry type. I've been smoking pot since elementary school. You got fired? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Why? For my day job, not a modeling gig. Just my day job and I sell in clothes. It sounds like a terrible job. It's really not. It's not a terrible job. I, <laughs> whatever. Thank you so much for picking me up today. Thank you. Oh my God. I need more girlfriends. Seriously. You know, you just like, girls are so hard to be friends with. You just can't trust them. Like one second, they're like your best friend and the next minute they're just like a total bitch, you know? Like, hold on. I gotta text Hartley. Oh, who's Hartley? He's my boyfriend. Oh. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Do you want one? Not really, no. Have you ever been in love? <laughs> no, no. Really? Never, never. I think I'm in love with Hartley. Oh. You think or you know? I know. What does he do? He's a self-taught physical trainer, and he's an actor, uh -huh. like aspiring, uh -huh. um, and he's a poet. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's sort of like a renaissance man, <laughs> you know? Hey, girl. Hey, girl, hey. Hey. It's beautiful out here. I'm coming down. You should spend the night. Do you want to? Yeah. Yeah, and then we can get up in the morning really early and go to the gym. I'd love to. Yeah, amazing. OK, so we'll get up at 6 and go. Oh, and you can meet Hartley. OK. Perfect. That'll be. That'll be perfect. <laughs> Whose place is this? Oh, it's my dad's. But he's never here. He has like six places. He's like a publisher, something boring like that. <laughs> nice view, huh? Yeah, not bad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is really stunning. Thank you. It's like that perfect eye position. There's not too much white. Yeah. This was when, like, my first job. I was so nervous. Oh my god. This, I'm so young here. Like, I had a perm. I feel you're young now. I feel like I'm so old, but you're sweet for saying. <laughs> I could never get these shots. Yeah, you could. With the right makeup artist, the right stylist, anything can happen. And you're so beautiful, also. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go shower. Um, make yourself comfortable. Help yourself to the fridge. Okay. Okay. You need anything? No, I don't think so. Okay. Sleep tight. Don't let the bad bugs bite. <laughs> okay. Wake up. We're leaving in 10 minutes. Hello? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Are you up? Okay, get ready. 57, 67, 68. Hey, baby. Harley, hi! Mm, mm, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> you look great in pain. Thank you. I feel so strong today. I did 69 weights. 69? Yeah. I mean, reps, not 69. <laughs> Whoa. Too heavy for me. But you can do 69 pounds, right? <laughs> well, I don't know what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Mm. Water's fine. I just want to sit down and have a glass of water. What else should we get? Tartufos? No. Mm. I'm not having a secondi, I'm not having a tartufo. A truffle. Do dessert. you know that when the universe reaches zero degrees Kelvin, there's gonna be a cascade? Do you know what that means? No, I don't know anything about interstellar physics. The big freeze. Everything frozen. Do you know how cold that is? That's like negative 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like cold. Like they don't make coats for that kind of weather. Not even in Russia. 
So get ready. We're getting tartufo. Can we get the tartufo tasting menu also? I told you you were hungry. Please eat the whole thing. You're not having any? My stomach's acting funny. I thought you were gonna live it up, you know? Talking about black holes and stuff. Watching you eat is like living it up. Okay. Here's some more wine. No, I'm okay on wine. Wait, no, I'm okay, I'm good on wine. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow, I was thirsty. Don't waste it. Drink up. I mean, there's a whole bottle. Yeah, one glass is my limit. Mm. I've already had one. Yeah. We're having fun, though. We're celebrating. Okay, but I don't want to get plastered. <laughs> Oh, you must. You can't eat this. What? I can't eat this. I don't know that language. I can't eat this. Well, I found eggs. <laughs> Those are not eggs. They're egg whites. They're oh. just the same. But they're better for you. That's snot. It's not snot. It's right there. It's snot. <laughs> <laughs> funny. <laughs> she gets it. What's so funny? That joke, remember? When yeah. You? No. This is not cool. I don't feel very good. Why don't you feel very good? Because I ate like nine cupcakes. Because they were delicious. You want to look like a fucking hippo? No, I don't want to look like a hippo. Why would he eat nine cupcakes, honey? When you have a salad in front of you, why would he eat salad? Because cupcakes are better. Well, why would they be better? This, this is much better for you. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Enjoy. Thanks. Don't listen. Staying dirty looks as a CPR, all right. I don't know what that language I means. See. I don't know that language. Speak English. I'm sorry for being rude, but please speak English. We're in America. I said close the fucking door so I won't hear you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm great. Why? I don't know how to say this, but I heard some really weird things last night. What? Um, well, there was some screaming. You and Hartley were screaming. Did he hurt you? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That was his audition tape. He was doing a rape scene and wanted feedback. You don't have to, you know, stick up for him. Make yeah. excuses for him. Why would I stick up for him? I don't know. I'm just saying you can talk to me. No, oh, he's so sweet. Did I tell you about our first date? He took me to get red velvet cupcakes, which are my favorite kind, and I ate like five of them. And then he was like, do you want to come back to my place? There's this poem that I really want to read you. Oh, sure, a poem. You fell for that? I didn't fall for anything. He wanted to take me back to read me a poem, and then he did, and it was like a really good, like deep, inspirational poem, and like I cried. 
we both cried. And then he got really hard, <laughs> you know? And then he took his pants off and he pulled his dick out and he was like, would you please just suck it? Oh my God. Yeah, but it was like sweet. It wasn't like creepy at all because he said it in such a nice way. It was like so gentle. <laughs> and so I was doing it and it was dark and he was really into it, but I have like a really intense gag reflex. So I threw up all over his dick. <laughs> oh shit, Yeah. really? And I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I just puked all over your dick. And he was like, it's not even a thing. And then he just, like, we just cuddled. And he, like, read me poetry all night, you know? But then, like, last night, I swear to god, we had sex three times, and he was just thinking about his ex the entire time. How do you know? I could just tell, I could, like, see it in his eyes, you know? There's, like, a psychic thing, because we're so connected. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just, like, stressed out. Do you think I should call him? Like. No, don't call him, you know? Just like, why hasn't he called me yet? Leave it alone, okay? Give it a week. Yeah, it's the last pair in this size, actually. I'm oh. surprised you got them. I thought we were sold out. It's actually kind of a size too small, but, <laughs> but they're so cute. Yeah, they're gonna look really good on you. Yeah. Is that everything that you wanted? Uh, yeah. yeah sure. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> My mom and I believe in retail therapy. <laughs> I guess. Are you getting the whole store? Yeah, practically. <gasps> oh my god, are these rep Oh my god, yes. yes. Can I get a pair of these in every color size eight and a half? These are oh, actually the last in the size oh. in the whole store. Oh, yeah. perfect. Okay, I'll take those. Okay. Wait, spring. Oh, were you gonna get those? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm no, so sorry. I, Is that I okay? Yeah, I want these. Oh. Ooh. Can I get them? Is that okay? I'm sorry. I just, like, this is, like, kind of my store, and, like, it would... I'll just, I'll take them. Sure. No, thank you for understanding. You're the best. Thank you. You're a great <clears throat> friend. You're a great friend. She's my best friend. Oh, yeah. I can tell. <laughs> so I just splurge on shoes, you know, that's that's the only thing I splurge on ever. Oh, so this will be good for you. It's be, like, curbing your habit. I just, so it's like everything works out for a reason, you mm -hmm. know? That's what I always say. Everything yes. works out for a reason. And you okay. sure? Nothing for you. Yeah, I, I can't afford these anyway. So, I'm on a That's budget. Okay. Yeah. You're so lucky that you can budget. Yeah, it's easy. You just don't buy anything. Isn't this fun? Yeah. Let's do our best model faces. Ready? Big smiles. Now let's do fierce. Yeah, scary. Sad face. Dramatic face. <gasps> Gizmo face. <laughs> you guys are born to be celebrities. <laughs> Can I get some hugs? Yeah. Oh, yay. <laughs> Thank you girls so much. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're more beautiful. No, I'm not. You are. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You can't say that. You're beautifuler. You're beautifuler. You know that's not a word either. It's not a word. <laughs> I'm not very good with words. <laughs> You're so shy. <laughs> Fuck. I can't get it all. Damn it. Yeah, so I'm gonna need the house to myself tonight. I have to throw up in private. I can't get it all out when there's just like people around listening. No offense, I love you, but like, I just... I wasn't listening. That's what you think I did? I mean... I'm sorry you think that. I don't know if you were listening. It doesn't matter. I just, like, for my own health and well-being, it's better for my mind if I can do it in private. Hey. Hi. You should leave your stuff. You're coming back tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. glad we met. Me too. You're like the best friend I never had. Me too.
Really? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. <sighs> What's going on? Sorry, I don't know. I'm just, like, weirdly emotional. <sighs> Things that are bad are equally good. Try to look at the bright side of things. Why are you quoting Dr. Seuss? I don't know, it just came into my head. Sometimes quotes just come into my head. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> what? I'll just miss you. Am I gonna see you soon? Yeah, totally. Like tomorrow. <laughs> okay, all right. Call me if you need anything. Puppy on top of a kitten. <laughs> I think you have bed bugs. Bed bugs? I definitely don't have bed bugs. You must have gotten them from someone else. Listen, I'm flying to New York next week. I'll FedEx you your stuff. You don't have my mailing address, do you? I think I lost you. Wait, Spring? Hello? <sighs> I don't have bed bugs. Ugh. I'm so sorry I'm late. You should have called. Uh, ah, you bring your heels? I didn't. Uh, did you bring my heels? They're at the cleaners. Oh, they're at the dry cleaners. Fascinating. Get in, let's go. Go, go. Straighten up. Straighten up. Stop. What is that shit on your face? This is what I mean about the cleaners. I have a bed bug infestation. Oh. But, but don't worry. Don't you worry. They're gone. Get off. 
they, they, they spread in fabric, but but the but you're safe because I, I take precautions. I washed my outfit this morning. Get out quickly. Yeah, it, it didn't. <laughs> It didn't go well. You can't fucking afford to do this anymore, okay? The clients aren't gonna put up with it. Just fucking show up on time, wear the fucking wardrobe they ask you to wear, and be the fucking girl they want you to be! I don't, I don't think I can keep doing this. I'm sorry. Don't be a fucking quitter. Try harder. Apply yourself. Fucking die! Ugh. Do you read the Bible? I'll read the Bible. I'm an atheist. That's okay. I can't not love you because you don't believe. Then what kind of person would I be? Last week, I was feeling suicidal. But then I went home and I prayed. I'm praying for you now. I used to be a crybaby. I used to cry, cry, cry. And then someone told me, your soul is hungry. I had to believe in what I couldn't see. I believe in miracles. You are my miracle. You don't like the drawing? Hey, hey, hey. Donations start at $15, and I'm going to order 15. Hey. The picture's already, pi picture's already posted on Instagram and Facebook. Hey, don't wait too long. It's a limited time offer. No, I only keep it up you. for a week. No, thank you. been interesting. It was idiotic. Fair enough. I mean, you weren't just one of those dumb models. If you were, we wouldn't be friends, but those photos were disgusting. Well, not you necessarily, but the photos were fucking awful. They were unbearable. I, mean, I can't tell you how glad I am that you're done with that phase. It was so ugly. And when you told me you got scouted, I was so suspicious that Suddenly, you wanted to be famous. I just wanted good photos. I've never wanted to be famous. I've wanted to be famous. Yes, you have. But not just famous for being famous, to be recognized for what I do. But that doesn't interest me anymore. God, I used to be obsessed with it, but it's petty, it's inane. It's for people that need to get a life. China has changed everything. Wake up. Stop. Wake up, Irene. Stop. 
Wake up. Stop. You're not famous. <laughs> I know. I know that. Right here called my modeling picture is disgusting. Don't, don't worry about the pictures. You tried being who people wanted you to be and you learned to say no. It's good. It's normal. Arthur loves criticizing you. Now he's leaving, and I must say, I'm really glad about that. Thanks for reminding me. He's the only interesting person I know. He belittles you, and when you're with him, you just lose all your confidence. <sighs> Look, forget about him. You're on different paths. Come on. want to look in here. I used to have to like erase everything over and over again and then one day I just said you know what why are you second-guessing yourself when you have everything you could fucking need in yourself? And once I did that, once I gave into that, there was no fucking stopping me. On the last day of class, my professor, Professor Wang, says, there's sentiment in your work. The unteachable, magic fucking ingredient. And, like, I got it. Wait, where's the sentiment? Everywhere? Or... Yeah, yeah, all of it. That one. Oh, my God. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one? That the cat one? one? Yes. I didn't know that you even wanted to draw. It just seems like it's really out of the blue. I know, I never gave myself a chance, but you know. I'm sad that you're moving so far away. Are you gonna <laughs> miss me? Oh, I need a cigarette. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Get out of here, woo! Hey, you should come with me. To China? Yes. Yeah, you would love it there. You'll fucking love Beijing, and you can make you can teach English there. And but what about the language problem? What? I don't I don't speak Chinese. I can teach you all that. You can? You'll teach me? Yes. I had no idea you wanted me to come with you. Of course, I want you to come with me. Well, in that case, I'll study Mandarin for a year and save up. Are you fucking serious? I'm fucking serious. Fucking serious. I'm fucking serious. This is crazy. It's so crazy, but it's so right. I feel good. You feel good. This feels good. It feels right, right? I feel you. You feel me? And I feel this. Do you feel this? And it feels right. That's it. We're gonna live together, we're gonna make art, we're gonna be part of the community. I really didn't want to leave you behind. Me neither. But we'll have to convince my parents. What? Yeah, I'll take care of that. I'll call them tonight. You will? Yes. You'll call them? I'll call them tonight. I'll make them an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm giving you the life they never could. So? So what, honey? What do you think about Arthur, China, everything? <sighs> you really need to ask me that. You know I am not happy. You're just following your friend like you've done since you were 10 years old. You don't think I could benefit from moving to another country, learning a new language, immersing myself in a new culture? Absolutely. You know that I'm all for that. But why not think of going to London or, or Paris, Berlin? That's too easy. Everything's been done there. I want a fresh start. So it's Arthur the same old story. And will you stop dragging Arthur, 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 Arthur? When will you finally get a mind of your own? He's feeling scared about this whole thing. And of course he wants to take you along. Have a friend, have a buddy, somebody to support him. I would like to see you follow what you need to do and take the lead. Can I come in? Can I come in? Come in, yes, of course you can come in. You know you don't have to knock. 
Hej. What's up? Mom and I talked about Arthur today. She said that you weren't too excited about me moving off to China with him. And that couldn't have been surprising to you. No, I guess not. I thought about it, and I think communication is going to be very difficult all of my life, wherever I go, whatever language I speak. Well, I mean, people don't understand, in general, other people. But I do want to make something that speaks to others. And what is that? Well, yeah. <laughs> well I don't know yet. I, I mean, I haven't tried, but I do want them to understand me. <laughs> I don't know. So, you want people to understand you, and so you're moving to China? <laughs> Does well, that make sense? No. That's, like, really extreme. <laughs> but I want to make something that's important to me. That pleases you. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the place to start. You know? I mean that's what that's what I do. I make I make art because it's the only thing that makes me happy. If I'm not painting or drawing, I'm heartbroken. You know, and you know I I'm sad most of the time because I don't paint. Mm -hmm. You know. So you don't think I'll find something like that in China. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. So my uh, advice to you is to find another something else. Forget China. Did you want my advice? I did. Is that where you came in? Yeah. Okay. Well, there it is. Now go. I have work to do. What should we wear John Wen? What should we wear Le Inian? 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 <laughs> now imagine that every day. Are you impressed? Why do you want to hold him in here? What's wrong with you? Irene, what? Why are you walking away? I don't think I want to live with you if I end up moving to China. You don't have any other friends. Neither do you. Why are you being so mean? Irene, don't... Irene. Irene. Irene! Irene! Irene!
I'm making a movie. You're wasting time in your stupid fucking bubble. You're basically ancient. I'm writing my script every day and saving up with an office job. Fine, do whatever you goddamn want, Irene, alright? Yeah. You do anyway. What am I doing? The painting, the writing, the language, I'm just a fucking dilettante. I'm confused, I'm confused about everything! Okay, so you don't want to get an MFA in China anymore? <laughs> Irene, I'm on TV here, watch me! Jinxian, Lai Jie Sao, Yi Wei Lai Zi, Mei Guo de Jia Bing. Yao Xin, Yao Xin, Xian Xin. Yao Xin, Ni Jinxian, Zen Me Yang. Han Bu Zuo. Ni Zong Wen Jiang de Zen Me Zuo. Ge Le Duo Jiu Le. Gu Zhang. Zen Bang. Zen Bang. Ji Ran. 中文讲得这么好，我们今天给你出一个难题，怎么看一下这三个字吧？都很像，但所有的中国人都能分得清楚这三个字怎么念。亚瑟，这三个字怎么念？举，你，还有啊呀，真遗憾。No， 啊，亚瑟。咱们继续。这三个字念：四、一、几。I don't understand. I'm sorry. Can you play this way? Oh, sure. I'm sorry. If you want to submit any. You know, general inquiries. Then you can just email us at glass at glasscat dot net. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Mike. Hi, Shannon. Oh, uh, hi, Sean. Yeah, it's actually Tracy's, but I'm gonna throw it away. Okay. Yeah, get rid of it. Um, can I have a blue pen? A blue pen. I only have a black pen. We need a uh, blue pen in the front desk. I'll have to flow a fine point. Next tape is wrong. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Glasscat Productions.